A local woman works through grief with the help of a new hobby and support of new love. Houston ABC's Stephanie Rivas has the story from the dance floor. Feeling the music one step at a time. Ten years ago, Mary Ellen Walsh needed an outlet. I just needed to think about where I needed to put my foot <laughs> and where I needed to put my foot next. Mary Ellen's husband was suffering from Alzheimer's and she didn't know where to turn. Rather than um, bring the stress home to him, uh, I figured, okay, I have a lot of energy, I need to get rid of it, so I took dance. Dance became a form of therapy, even after her husband passed away. To me, dance is part of loving life. With her heart now open, Mary's life brought her to Mitch in 2014. I'm more of a Super Bowl guy rather than a halftime show guy. And <laughs> <laughs> They knew each other through their children's sports teams, but reconnected years later by chance on an airplane. As the romance blossomed, Mary Ellen kept on dancing. It went from being something that was relieving stress to being something that was um, a source of joy and also comfort. Mitch became a dancing partner at three of her children's weddings, and finally when they were married in 2017. How was your dance on your wedding day, honey? That was pretty lousy. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that part. Mary Ellen says the first dance that started it all is the Foxtrot. So, Newsstand photographer Dave Miner and I are going to learn the first steps. Walk, walk into the sun, side together. Okay. One more time, ready? Trying our best to take notes from Mary Ellen. We go to the promenade. Finding love in those little moments and just taking in the music. You know, of course it's Valentine's Day and it can be romantic, but to me, it goes beyond that. It's, it's about just enjoying life. Reporting from the dance floor in Saratoga Springs, I'm Stephanie Rivas. And I'm David Miner. News 10 ABC. <laughs> and they both did amazing They there. did. They did.